follow your joy. You know, when you're feeling you're who we are as an eternal being who, when we're following what we're here to do, there's a lightness, there's an airiness, there's a spaciousness that's truly being alive. So that was giving myself permission to be alive. I have spent three decades of my life in the accounting world. I was good at it. My dad was an IRS agent. Numbers were easy. I came out of college. And so uh, numbers were a way I made money. It was easy for me to make money that way, but I wasn't passionate about it. I committed to leave the financial world to follow my passion. And my, uh, then I belly flopped financially. So mm. that's just, that's, and that's actually part of why I do what I do now is now, you know, 10, 12 years later, 13 years later, I realized the blocks that I had that weren't allowing me to make money, have a team, be in the flow, be in sales, have fun all at the same time. And so part of, and so back to why I'm a recovering CPA is because I spent that time in my life doing what I knew I was good at to make money, but it wasn't what my spirit, I, it wasn't what I came to the planet to do because I had to come to Jesus with me, my bank account, my higher self, you know, it was kind of like put your pride aside and really go help support the family to make some money. So I spent yeah. three and a half years back in accounting. I was doing QuickBooks online, CFO and accounting work for startups. I was there. And I also, during that time, you know, as I look back on it now a little bit, uh, I was dying a little bit day by day. I became hopeless. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, you know, I didn't know why I was hopeless necessarily because I'd also grown resentful of the lady I was working for because I was working without getting paid. At some level I was working, I was, and I wasn't getting paid all that I was work. And I realized for me that resentment, my resentment towards her was actually, I, I was the one, I was the one who was willing to be that behave that way. Mm -hmm. I was the one who was willing to be the martyr. I was the one who was willing to serve. I, I was playing the hero. I was playing the hero and the victim at the same time. And I finally surrendered. And I then very quickly and immediately attracted to, attracted to me teachers. I was invited to channel. I went through a radical, I went to a deep dive spiritual retreat. I had a radical spiritual awakening. I will, I actually went and interviewed for another accounting job. I didn't get it. And a few months later, I was, a, I was invited to go back to training that I had already done before for coaches and business, holistic practitioners. And I missed the email. I got a text reminder. I basically said, okay, God, I know you're showing me something. And I showed up at that day and I said, okay, I don't know what I'm here to do. I really didn't know what I was here to do, but I said, I surrender. I, oh, I turn this over to you. Just show me. Well, the options were uh, the, the imagining continuing to do what I continued to do for an, un, an indefinite period of time felt like 5 million pounds. Mm. It was heavy. It was closed off. It literally felt like if I continued to do this, I would be like strangling myself. The alternative was light and airy and fun and woohoo, we get to let ourselves out of jail. So basically what I do is I support women to know that their safety, their freedom, their flow is, comes from a space that is beyond the money. We bring it to the life of day, light of day. We help uncover it. We get specific about what the beliefs or stories or ancestral programming is. And then we detach from it so that they can be in the flow and have their money instead of their money having them. 